Hello my friends, it's your boy Clark here and you're watching I Get Food, the channel on YouTube where I like to feature all the awesome and diverse spots that we have here in Toronto. Today I'm in the North York area and I'm going to be throwing down with some Syrian food and checking out a spot called Zeza Food. So come along and join me, it's time to get food. Midtown Toronto in Davisville Village is where we're going to be at today and I'm trying this family run Syrian restaurant for the very first time. Their warm and inviting interior is the perfect setting to experience authentic Syrian culture and cuisine. Once you're tucked into your comfortable Bedouin surroundings, be sure to take in all the vintage family heirlooms and the eclectic art that abound throughout. So we're filming today's video on March the 8th, International Women's Day, so I can't think of a better day than to feature this spot, because Zezafoon is run by a mother and daughter duo. Kebab keras, kebe labaniye, and the uh, lamb shanks are best sellers. It's from Aleppo, and they're the only city that make it because they grow the sour cherries there. For this time of the day, maybe I would go with the kebe, ke, uh, kebab keras. Let's do it. So as you can see here, the staff here are very friendly and they're more than happy to sit down. And if you're not familiar with Syrian cuisine, you know, explain all the different dishes to you so that you can choose something that will absolutely fit your palate. All right, you guys, here's the first thing that I ordered. This is their vegan kebab. So usually this is made with beef, but they do have a vegan option here and it's made with potato. And I wanted to show you guys that. So you can see on the menu, there are great options here. So if you're with friends and and they prefer not to eat meat, there are options on here. Look at that, it's just so colorful in there. And oh, the one thing YouTube doesn't have is smell-o-vision. I, I wish you guys could smell the aroma coming off of these. They're fantastic. Oh, wow. Mm. I love how crispy the outer shell of that is. That potato filling is soft and pillowy. It's spiced just right. Lots of flavor in there. Mm. They also make a spicy sauce in-house here at the restaurant. I love that deep, rich color. Okay. Let's rip off a piece of this vegan kebe. All right. And let's dip it in that sauce. Mm. Oh. There's a bit of tanginess in there. Definitely a good punch, good kick with the heat. A great counterbalance to the earthiness and the robustness of the spices in the kebe. <laughs> they even have a lot of flair when they're pouring water. How about that? So this is kebab keres. Originally the bread is supposed to be served under the mix, mm -hmm. but because of so many light and energies here, we serve it on the side. The best way to eat it is to open the bread, put the mix inside and enjoy it. Okay, fantastic. Have fun. Thank you so much. Like I said, they take the time to explain everything to you. I'm not familiar with Syrian cuisine. As you guys have seen, like we, we featured Middle Eastern food on the channel before, but let's be entirely honest. A lot of what we find or what we featured up to this point, the, to a certain degree might be adjusted for the Western palate. I think what I like about Zezafoon is they really do stick as much as they can to the traditions. Like this dish, kebab keras which is a mixture of beef kofta simmered in a sweet and tangy cherry sauce accentuated with almonds and parsley. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
that and also like there's a lot to do when you're traveling by camp. Like basically get on a plane. They give you a meal. Look at that! The beef is so tender and juicy and so flavorful. And it goes perfectly with that sour cherry sauce. Mm. It came with a small side salad as well. I love it. The lettuce is just nice and crisp. There's some tomatoes in there and some fried pita bread mm, to give it a little bit of crunch. The vinaigrette is just nice and light. Mm. Perfect way to reset the palate and go in for some more. Let's pop that open. I said, try to get some of that beef, a lot of those cherries in there, all that sauce. Mm. The community of patrons that frequents as a food are super friendly too. The table next to me overheard me struggle over not ordering something from the Syrian brunch menu, so they let me film what they were having, knowing how much I wanted to show that off too. You do want to see the Syrian brunch you know let me know in the comments below maybe we'll do a follow-up video here as well so much more fantastic food to go but I think this is a good spot to wrap up the video however before I go as always I do want to take a moment just to say a massive massive thank you to everybody here at Zeza food their hospitality this delicious food absolutely made this a day to remember big thank you to you guys as well for watching the video you know the drill right as always give it a thumbs up leave a comment below share this video with family and friends and if it's your first time here and you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon all right, you guys, it's a wrap, but no worries. We've got more content to come. You guys get out there, get something tasty to eat, and I'll see you all next time when I get food.